Yesterday, Blizzard dropped the first official patch notes in Diablo 4 pre-launch and they are responding to a ton of critical feedback that people had during the beta and this has completely changed the narrative around Diablo 4 going from skeptical to potentially a little bit positive all the way to mass negativity now positive responses are drowning out all the negativity that I was seeing before and it was just a massive PR win for Blizzard. Now, don't get me wrong, there are still a lot of people that are skeptical and negative about Diablo 4, and there are still, even myself, people that don't necessarily agree with all the patch notes. But the important thing is that we finally got some sort of communication going, or confirmation, you could say, that the game will improve and that they're taking our suggestions very seriously. This is huge for the game and for the launch of the game again most of the game any game in general is going to be decided on that first week or potentially even before the game launches on how it's good it's going to do or how well it's going to perform and this bodes extremely well for diablo 4's launch and i want to go over a couple of sort of comments that a lot of people in the community are making about this because it is just every single post every single comment that i've seen in the last 24 hours so this top upvoted reddit post we're going to go through all the different comments that are being made some of the feedback on the feedback that blizzard had gave and the most upvoted comment here dungeon improvements skill balance changes left click for smooth the end even mentions font changes seems like they hit on the most complained about things it's just good to have confirmation that they listen to feedback I think this is very important to note. I think dungeon improvements was a pretty obvious one. Um, skill balance, that was bound to happen. But then we get into some of the minutia of the sort of article that they've changed or some of the patches that they changed. One being left click being force move and the font change. These are two sort of minor gripes about the game that I don't think is particularly super important you could say the left click force move is actually game breaking for some people um, and even the font necessarily could be game breaking for some people but oftentimes things like font changes or like settings changes these are things that are like way way back burner type things but honestly these are the most complained about type things that i've seen in a lot of the reviews obviously people have cited other things um, some speculation as well but most often than not, I've heard repetitive dungeons, balance is messed up, and some minor things about the game. And of course, some systemic things that aren't really gonna change. But they've improved the things that they absolutely can't improve, which is like dungeons, skills, and even the small things. On top of that, it is absolutely crazy to see how quickly they've done it. Some of the other comments here, um, so many people were convinced nothing would change. and. Absolutely. This is something that I've seen a lot of people um, mention or a lot of people don't mention rather, which is that the launch of Diablo 3 was not good. Um, it was not a good game, in my opinion, um, at least how I see it. Right. Seasons weren't didn't exist. The real trading, the real money trading post was kind of awkward. Granted, that wasn't directly at launch, but it was soon after. Paragon system didn't even exist. It was like an eight hour, I shouldn't say eight hour, but it was a relatively small gameplay experience and then you were done. And yet the game turned into something, in my opinion, a lot better. And some people don't even seem to think about that at all, which is huge. Top of that, this one right here. I'm all prefer, uh, improved for improving the game based on feedback, and I'm happy they're doing that based on the beta. One of the few pieces of feedback I didn't agree with, though, was the font. I agree with the majority who felt the font was too mobile looking or not stylized enough, but at the same time, it was so good on my eyes, easy to read, clean. It stood out from the rest of the interface. I wonder if slash how they're going to solve this. Would they be able to keep the readability and adjust according to the feedback? So I wanted to mention this one because I think this one's a pretty interesting post, which is that they seem to be so readily available to listen to feedback, they could overcorrect here. And I think this is an interesting topic to talk about, an interesting conversation to have, which is that I've not seen a game so readily making changes before the game is even out 
that we could turn into a situation where Blizzard actually wants this game so badly to succeed that they make a change that potentially isn't actually good for the players because the players are asking for it. Um, granted, this is a little bit more metagamey, <laughs> a little bit more five head, um, but I do think that it's an interesting conversation to have. And I am excited to see some more things come out of the woodwork, potentially some people hey, wait a second, I actually liked that and after they've changed it. And I think the font is one thing that could definitely be either you hate it or you like it, similar to the open world. But I'm interested to see what they're going to change it to, and hopefully they could satisfy both the people who enjoyed the previous version of the font and, you know, people who didn't like it, hopefully they get satisfied with the new version as well. Here's another post here. Beta feedback being incorporated this close to launch is gigantic. I can't remember a AAA studio who made significant changes based on beta feedback so close to launch date. There's normally a multi-month waiting period prior to feedback incorporation if said things changed at all. Bungie Notorials takes forever to make necessary changes to Destiny um, and it continues onward. I had zero expectations of Blizzard updating dungeon map layouts until post launch. This shows they actually care and want the game to be in the very best spot it can be. This is exactly my perspective. I can't tell you how many times we were like, well, dungeons are repetitive. And I would be like, yeah, I think all ARPGs are repetitive and there are some bad things about the dungeon system. I don't disagree with that at all. My, my point was always, I don't really care too much about that because even if they do change the dungeon layouts, the dungeons will still feel repetitive no matter what they do. Therefore, I was like, just focus on other more important things. And I certainly didn't expect them to ever change it before the game's launch. Again, I've never seen any sort of really, really massive game studio, as they say, AAA studio, that actually makes huge changes. Again, these are big changes, because you have to remember that the dungeons are the whole game outside of the open world. Um, I'm not sure how much of an impact that the open world will have, but as far as we've seen, the end game is nightmare dungeons, sigils. That's what the end game is. And so to change a whole entire system, with the idea that we don't want it to be super repetitive already before the game's even out is insane. That is really, really amazing. And of course, as classic here, I really like the sans serif font using games from replaced with the new web webdings font. I think this is, um, I don't believe this is exactly what they said, but uh, I do think it's an upvoted comment. People will really, really enjoy this. Now, here's also an interesting comment by College Order Orthodox here. To play is still excited and positive devil's advocate here. Remember, it is believed that the beta version we played was very likely an older build compared to the latest internal build. This is probably true. I would not doubt this for a second. And they continue to say it obviously stands to reason that the devs have their own Q&A and playtest, etc. And so they ask the question, what's more likely? Uh, an un a seemingly unprecedented laundry list of updates and balances within a few weeks of beta feedback that was never known to the devs until the public told them or them taking credit for listening to feedback and saying they made changes based on the feedback when in reality, they already updated those things. This is an interesting one. This is sort of like the big five head four, as the person says after this, 4D chess um, and, you know, mega brain type things that Blizzard potentially could be doing. Let me ask you the question on top of your question, and I'm gonna mention it, or I'm gonna talk about it a little bit here. Is it a good thing? that Blizzard is playing 4D chess with us and knows what we want before we ask it? Or is it a bad thing that they're waiting to get a PR win despite them already knowing it and they didn't roll it out for beta? I would argue that it's actually, if this is true, let's say it is true they're taking credit for listening to feedback, but in reality, um, they didn't listen to feedback. It's just the same thing uh, that they already were going to implement or they already had in the game. I think it's better that they figured out what we want before we knew what we want. Um, or potentially they already had some sort of play testing, which I know they had an end game beta, which I did participate in. Um, and there was feedback, you know, solicited to them. And so uh, I don't think either way is a bad thing. And honestly, I wouldn't blame Blizzard to try to take credit for something that they already had implemented if they were proud of it, right? Keep in mind that their job is to promote their game as much as they possibly can. And winning PR moves is a great way to promote positive feedback for their game. So I don't think that's a bad thing at all. And I don't blame them at all. 
and arguably it's a better thing for them to or for us to feel confident that they know what we want before we even know what we want uh, in the beta however they do claim that they say um that this was based on the open beta and the pre-release beta so take with what you will but I choose to just take their word. Um, I, it, once you start getting into like, well, Blizzard may not be telling the truth. You start to get into these like super convoluted discussions about, well, can you believe this? Can you do, can you actually trust that? And I prefer just to stick into the realm of sort of reality, which is taking their word for it. And of course, you know, who knows uh, what actually happens, right? At the end of the day. All in all, this is just a massive win for Blizzard. As the title suggests here, Blizzard just shut up all the haters and when I mean haters I don't mean people that dislike the game or maybe even hate the game I mean haters in that they are just hating on Blizzard for what they've previously done um, or just absolutely bashing everyone at Blizzard just because of a few different people um, and I think that at the end of the day this is a really really good thing for Blizzard and I'm happy to see it because of course I enjoy the game and I love to see my opinion having value in the game. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below, and I will see you all for a video tomorrow.